Hello Jonathan, and thank you for taking some time to answer a few questions about the Enerworks Solar Hot Water Appliance. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Um, my first question is, could you describe how the Enerworks system works and why would you want one? Sure, the Enerworks Hot Water Heating Appliance is a, uh, a system that's uh, been designed by a company called uh, Enerworks, and they're uh, located uh, near London, Ontario. Um, it's a Canadian designed and built, and uh, so it uh, is really designed to, to work here in our climate. And what it does is, um, what we do is we, we install a couple solar collectors up on the, uh, the roof of your building, your, your home generally, and uh, there's a uh, heat transfer fluid that is a, runs in a closed loop system. So the water that you're using inside your house doesn't actually go up through the panels. There's a separate fluid that does that. And then at the hot water tank, there's a heat exchanger that transfers the energy from the solar collectors into your water, and it heats your water. So what happens is we put in a um, preheat water tank before your existing hot water tank or heating element. You might have a tankless water heating system, and that's fine. This works with that. So what we do is we add we add another tank uh, before that. So when the water comes out of the ground or from the city, it, uh, it goes first through uh, this preheat tank that is heated by the solar, and then from there it goes to your heating appliance and out to your house. Okay, is the system safe? Absolutely, it's uh, very safe. The whole system is uh, CSA approved as a system, and uh, so that's important. There's a lot of uh, rigorous testing that goes into into getting that approval. Um, it's just uh, there's fail-safe uh, measures everywhere. There's overheating protections in the um, built into the panels. So once they get to a certain temperature, uh, they have a patented way that they can cool off. Um, at the tank itself, once the tank the water in the tank gets up to a certain temperature, it shuts off so that it doesn't boil over. So there's protections there. The uh, fluid that we use is a propylene glycol and uh, it's actually a food grade antifreeze. You actually eat it in a lot of different foods. Um, so even if somehow um, there was a leak somewhere in the system and, and, and you got the stuff on you or it got into your water system or something, it wouldn't hurt you. You could, you could actually drink it the way it is. So um, it's very safe. There's nothing in there that is going to uh, cause any harm to either you or the, uh, or the environment. And that's obviously important to what we're doing. Okay, will the water get as hot as with an electric water tank? It can. It will just depend on how much how much sunlight there is outside, um, both the intensity of it and the, the length of time, and then how much water you're using. Um, so all those factors come into play. But the, uh, the tank will, uh, will heat up. Uh, it'll shut off at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's usually hotter even than, uh, than, than you would run your, um, your tank on its own. Um, so again, that protection is built in, and uh, certainly it has the capacity. It, it can do that in a couple hours on a sunny day. Um, will the, what percentage of my hot water will I use from this system? We generally suggest that the uh, the Enerworks system will provide about 60% of the hot water used in your home over the course of a year. In the summertime, it can get upwards over 90%, 95%. Um, in the winter, there's going to provide less hot water. And it's not because the ambient temperature outside. It's strictly because um, in Canada, we, we only have a few hours of sunlight in, in a winter day, where in the summertime, we have considerably more sunlight hours. And so just because of the length of time, it may not bring the temperature up in the winter as much. And uh, so that's fine. That's why you still have, it, it runs um, in conjunction with your existing water heating system. It doesn't replace it. It runs in addition to it. And um, so it runs such that you will always get as much benefit as possible from the sun that's out there. And if you're not getting the water as hot as it needs to be, your water heating system will top that up. So the water will always be the right temperature coming out the other side. What, what if any, are the system's limitations? I don't usually recommend the Enerworks system for a large um, heating application for a building. They're, they're very well designed to heat domestic hot water, like what you use in your tub or your shower, your dishwasher, that kind of thing. Um, and so that's really what I try to, try to uh, restrict my installations to. Um, it works very well for that application, um, but it's not the ideal application, uh, not the ideal product uh, for, for some larger applications. Will it freeze in the winter if it's not pumping constantly? No, it won't. The uh, propylene glycol that's in the system will prevent overfreezing. 
uh, are freezing at all. And um, so there's there'll be no damage um, to the system in, in the winter time. Is there any maintenance involved? None by the homeowner. Uh, once we come and install the system, it just runs. You won't even notice that it's there, except that your water bills will be, your heating bills will be less. Um, but the uh, the system itself just runs. There's a pump that runs um, anytime there's benefit to you. Um, so anytime the the water at the solar panels is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the water that's in the tank, it, the pump will cycle. So there's a sensor up there and a sensor at the tank, and it will determine what the temperatures are. And as soon as there's a differential, it'll start the pump and start to circulate. So it'll uh, it'll do that anytime there's benefit to you. So I take it this is an easy system to use? It's very easy. Once we come and install it and set it up and leave, there's really nothing else that you have to do. You just carry on about your day as you normally would. Um, how much does it cost to install? It depends on the size of the um, household that you have and how much water you want to heat. Typically for a one or two person household we go with a one panel system where we just have one panel up on the roof. A uh, two person, or uh, sorry, a, a, a f three or four person household would have two panels up on the roof. Uh, we could go up to four panels, depending on how much water you require. If you uh, if you need, you know, if you if you're a heavy hot water user or or have um, some o odd needs, uh, maybe you run a jacuzzi fairly often for whatever reason. Or, we might add another panel if you wanted to tie it in to supplement some of your space heating or pool heating in the summertime then uh, you know we would take that into consideration generally speaking the average system uh, installs for a little under eight thousand dollars for a two panel system so that would run a three or four person household um, now there's also a lot of um, there's uh, some good really good government grants right now if you're in Ontario and uh, the government will cover um, at least uh, twenty five hundred dollars of that cost so it's a very significant grant that's available and we have information on that um, so you could contact us if you wanted more information about that it'll be actually right here on our website as well um, but so that would uh, you know certainly certainly cut into the cost of it now how much cheaper is it to have than electric and how how long would it take to pay it off just by using the savings on average, we've run some numbers, and we can do this um, specifically for your specific requirements. I ha have a uh, program uh, on my computer, actually, from Enerworks, which calculates all these different things, and we can input the current uh, cost of natural gas or electricity or propane, and how much water you're using, and what the temperature is coming out of the ground, and we can calculate it all out. But generally, we find that on electric, people who have an electric hot water tank right now would recover most of their cost in about 12 years give or take a little bit depending on their usage the more you, the more hot water you use the faster that cost recovery will be because the system will be working more often um, and now that's at full price once you consider the um, the grant that's available and you know you take a third off of that you're down to a very reasonable you know six or eight years possibly to to recover the cost of putting this in your home um, you actually do spend quite a bit of money every month on heating your water um, other than space heating in your house to keep your house warm, hot water is the largest um, consumer of energy in your home. And so if you can, you know, knock uh, over half the cost out of that, then uh, it's, you're going to save a lot of money. All right. Well, thank you, Jonathan. This has been very informative. Well, thank you for having me. You're welcome.